Hello Genesis. In the previous video, we understood what is statistical mechanics in a nutshell using sheeps. We just took sheeps to understand why statistical mechanics is the way it is. Now we have to derive the Maxwell Boltzmann, Fermi Dirac and Bose Einstein distribution functions. But to derive them we need this thing that is the thermodynamic probability of all three which is nothing but the number of microstates. And when this thing is at its maximum that means our system is at equilibrium then that will give us the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution function and so on to Fermi Dirac and Bose Einstein distribution function. So in this video we will derive the thermodynamic probability of a Maxwell Boltzmann system. In the next video we will derive this Maxwell Boltzmann distribution function and so on for the other two. So let's get started. Now similar to the previous video we will imagine boxes which are nothing but energy levels and let us say we have the number of particles which is n. Now what these functions basically tell us see this let us say this is energy and this is the number of particles okay. So like the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution function is something like this. So what these are basically telling us that how many particles are there in this one, how many are there in this one, how many are there in this one. These boxes are basically the energy levels, this axis is that energy and this distribution is the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution function. So we need to derive this. Now to derive this we will first assume that this box contains n1 particles, this box contains n2, this box contains n3 and so on to this box contains ng particles. And then we will apply the conditions for a Maxwell Boltzmann distribution function and we will see how this n1, n2, n3 will look like. Like first we need to find the number of microstates that means the number of ways in which these n particles can arrange in here and then by maximizing it we will get the most probable distribution. And also these energy levels can be degenerate. That means there is a splitting of energy levels. You can imagine this by further dividing this box in sub levels. So this is the main energy level and these are the degenerate energy levels. So what is the condition of Maxwell Boltzmann statistics? That the particles are distinguishable. This is a really important thing. So let us take n distinguishable particles like in here we have taken 9 distinguishable particles. Now we need to find the number of microstates that means how these 9 particles can arrange themselves in these boxes. Now first let us ignore this degeneracy and ignoring this degeneracy means that I will tell you later. So let us take an example like we can choose 3 particles in here five particles in here and like one particle in here. Now if we ignore this degeneracy that means that the further arrangement of these three particles in here won't count because changing these won't change the microstate, won't change the arrangement if we ignore this degeneracy for now. So the question in here is that in how many ways we can choose n1 particles from n particles. Now what do this means? Like in how many ways we can choose n1 particles from these n particles like at first we will see it for this energy level. So in here in how many ways we can choose this n1 particles from these n particles like we can choose these three, we can choose these three and so on. But we have to remember that the further arrangement like if we choose these three what these three will arrange themselves like if we choose this one at first and this one second one and this one third one or this one first one this one second one and this one third one it won't change the microstate. So what is this? These are n particles and we need to choose n1 particles. So this is basically a combination. Remember note a permutation. Yes the particles are distinguishable but the one we are choosing are acting like indistinguishable particles because in here the further arrangement won't count. Yes it will count when we will incorporate this degeneracy. Okay. So this is a combination like there are n particles and we need to choose n1 particles. So it is ncn1 which is nothing but n factorial divided by n1 factorial n minus n1 factorial. So this is for this energy level. The number of ways for this energy level. Now this one is filled. Now we have this energy level. Now remember we have chosen n1 particles. 
So what we have left is this n minus n1 particles. Now the question is in how many ways we can choose n2 particles from n minus n1 particles which is this that n minus n1 c n2 that is these are the number of particles like in here and this is the number of particles that we need to choose so this is n factorial in here that is n minus n1 divided by n2 factorial n minus n1 minus n2 factorial now this is for this energy level and we will do it so on to e g and now if we multiply all those that the number of ways for e1 e2 e3 then what we will get is this in how many ways these n particles can arrange themselves in these energy levels ignoring degeneracy okay so let us do that now let us call it w now which is equal to this multiply this multiply by 4 e3 now in here the number of particles left is n minus n1 minus n2 and so on now in here you can see like this cancels this one and this one cancels this one and so on and what we are left is this which is n factorial divided by n1 factorial n2 factorial n3 factorial and so on to n i factorial and so on now we can represent it like this that is n factorial divided by this symbol is for multiplication so multiplication with the variable i and i factorial now this is really important this is one part of the answer okay now we have to count the degeneracies also now to count the degenerate states let us say this is the energy box e1 and its degeneracy is 12 in here there are 12 sub boxes now the second condition of maxwell boltzmann statistics is that there is no restriction on the number of particles in one box that means in here there could be an infinite number of particles so let us ask this question that if we have a one particle in here in how many ways it can arrange itself in here and the answer is 12 ways because in here this particle can either go in here 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 12 ways okay so the number of ways in which one particle can arrange in here is g i now imagine if we had two particles the second one if there is no restriction can also arrange itself in 12 ways that means another g i now if there are two particles then they both can arrange themselves in g i multiply by g i ways that means g i raised to the power two ways if there are three particles that means g i raised to the power three if there are n one particles then it means that g i raised to the power n one ways so in the first energy box e1 the degenerate ways are g i raised to the power n one and so on to energy box e2 e3 and so on and if we multiply all those we will get the degenerate ways like this is the ways with which those particles can arrange themselves in the degenerate energy levels this is for the first box e1 this is for second box e2 and so on now we can write it like this in here like this like this is the multiplication sign g i raised to the power n i now this is the second piece that we need now this is our first piece and this is our second piece this is the number of ways those particles can arrange themselves in those energy boxes and this is the number of ways in which those particles can arrange themselves in the degenerate energy levels and by multiplying these two we will get our answer that is the thermodynamic probability of maxwell boltzmann statistics this is what we needed to find and by maximizing this we will get our maxwell boltzmann distribution function so this is our answer now also one thing if you have watched the permutation and combination video in which we have like converted from permutation to combination just by dividing by n factorial so in here if we want to treat those particles as indistinguishable yes we know that in classical statistics in classical statistics the particles are distinguishable okay right but sometimes if you want to study like ideal gas then there if we treat those particles as distinguishable then there is some paradox which arises that is known as Gibbs paradox okay 
the paradox is that the self mixing of gas that means when the gas is mixing on itself increases the entropy which is we don't want there we also use the maxwell boltzmann statistics but with one change dividing this thing by n factorial so this cancels this one so this is for indistinguishable particles of maxwell boltzmann statistics if you want to treat it like this but to derive the maxwell boltzmann distribution function we will use this one so this is our answer now if you are in a hurry you can just stop watching this video this further video is not related to studies and this is the first time i am ever doing this on this channel now while studying electromagnetism on youtube i stumbled upon a channel named dr physics a and he taught electromagnetism really well but i found a really unique thing in his video which i never saw another youtube youtuber do it the thing is that at the end of his video at the end of his video he showed us cool things of his house like his clock his cats etc etc a kind of reward for watching his educational videos so i also thought that i can give you reward on watching these educational videos on youtube because the youtube is filled with entertainment and other stuff but you are studying that is a good thing and you deserve a reward so if i also show you cool things of my house it would be a copy so i thought i can show you cool things which i find on internet like not related to study things you can enjoy for some time so in this video i will share you a song as a reward which is this one that the myro academia enemy strike named song the link of this song is in the description box below this is not at all sponsored nothing like if these guys sponsor me i will be very rich so enjoy listening to this song which is your reward on watching this video so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything